We like YouTube. Yes, we do. We like YouTube. How about you? It's time for a countdown. Hang on, Boo. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm Ricky. I'm Jamie. And we have a very special countdown for you today. But before we get to that, let's talk to our friend James. Hey, James. I love YouTube. It is amazing. Don't you get it? I feel like you're not hearing me. YouTube is amazing. But I think it's important to remember that YouTube is just a tool, like this megaphone. It's a tool that can be used to make a lot of noise. Or it's a tool you can use to get the message out. YouTube and this megaphone are tools. And I think it's super cool to see how these tools like YouTube and our faith can work together. There's this guy named Paul. He was known for being one of the early Jesus followers who was telling everybody about Jesus. He was starting churches and he was helping out those churches when they were in need. And there was this one church, the Colossian church, that needed some help really badly. So back in Paul's day, they didn't have megaphones and they certainly didn't have YouTube. So when the church that was in a town called Colossae needed help, Paul wrote them a letter. That letter is what we actually call the book of Colossians in our Bibles today. And so I wanna to read to you a portion of what he wrote in my YouVersion Bible app. Paul said, this same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It's bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives, just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. Paul's writing this letter to send hope and encouragement to a church that's just getting started. He's writing this letter to help us know that this message, the good news of Jesus, is available to us. And it's a message that people are desperate to hear. And what I love is that tools, just like YouTube, can be used to help other people hear that message of good news. So let's count down five YouTube channels that we love and we think that you'll love too. Coming in at number five is How Ridiculous. Who doesn't love watching trick shots and people smashing things? How Ridiculous is three Australian guys named Derek, Brett, and Scott. And for the past 10 years, they've been dropping items from the highest heights and testing the limits of trampolines. I love their accents. I love their trampolines. Today, we're gonna drop a bowling ball onto a trampoline from a Swiss dam. Which is 165 <laughs> meters high. It's like four times it's the tower. It's very big. So we are ready for the test drop. In three, two, one. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> new day, new bowling ball, quick test drop, and then it's tramp time. Drop. Come on. That's big. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Yes! Woo! <laughs> and again! Oh! Yes! And it bounced big! Yes! Yes! I never knew that bowling balls bounced. I knew that they rolled, uh, but I did not know that they could bounce. I thought it was crazy whenever it hit the cement and it exploded. It was so loud. I would have been scared to be one of the guys down at the bottom. Cool guys! Mm -hmm. They make such a good team. Number four, Blimey Cow. That's how they would say it. Blimey! Blimey! Blimey Cow is a comedy channel created by two brothers, Josh and Jordan. Each week they tackle topics like memes, faith, and relationships, and they do all of it with a sense of humor and authenticity. Hi everybody! Hello. So uh, this episode of Christian Meme Reviews uh, is brought to you by the people out there. <laughs> who made a Memes for Jordan account. They found some memes that they think that Jordan will think are funny. So somebody has created a Memes for Jordan Instagram account that I've seen some others floating around. So we're gonna take a look at these memes today and see if these are truly memes for Jordan. Jordan. My beloved brother. Me, a pure homeschooled Christian trying to make friends. Normal people. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I like the, the extravagant faces, but I don't know what this is from. Uh, you know what? I don't know what this is from either. This looks like... Is this How to Train Your Dragon? This might be How to Train Your Dragon. It looks like, you know, one of those CGI movies that isn't Pixar. So exactly. it's not that's what I know what, anything about. That's how I narrowed it down. He protect, <laughs> he attack, but most importantly, <laughs> he multiplies <laughs> snack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> We spend a lot of time talking to you guys, reading your comments, 
tweets and emails. And, and there's one piece of feedback that we get more than anything else. It's, it's something that honestly, we, we don't really think about very often until one of you brings it up. And, and it's this. You like that we don't say bad words on this channel. It's Christian! So why don't we say bad words on this channel? We grew up not saying four letter words. So it wasn't like a, a conscious decision we made when we were teenagers to not curse in our videos. We didn't cuss growing up and so it was just something we didn't even think about. It's always funny when someone tells us that they like that our channel doesn't swear because it's always like, oh. All right, we don't. It's I am a long we time fan of Blimey Cow, and their humor is just so on point. They're so witty. I agree. I love the episode where they're talking about um, why girls do certain things and why guys do certain things. So when they talk about girls like going to the bathroom together, it's really a thing. And coming in at number three is the GCMB. The GCMB stands for the Good Christian Music Blog. This channel curates artists you might not have heard of before. You will definitely discover some new music. If you're working on homework or relaxing outside, check out their genre playlists or their mixes. From acoustic to electronica to hip hop to indie, there's something for everyone. I'm Steven and this is the Good Christian Music Blog. I created this channel so that there'd be a place online that was dedicated to sharing some of the best, the most inspiring and the most creative music that's written by followers of Jesus. On this channel, you'll find exclusive music videos from artists. We also go and meet with people and film live sessions with them where they do versions of their own songs as well as covers of other people. And there's a whole host of other videos that we share here too. I have found a lot of great music from GCMB and they just have the right curation of music that really just fits the right mood, you know? I agree, I love it. Makes me wanna groove. You're quite groovy. <laughs> the grooviest. So I love that the music has a great message along with being awesome. Yeah, and a ton of new artists. If you wanna be the first to share some new music with your friends, GCMB is the place to be. It's mm -hmm. really good. All right, so countdown number two. Set Sail. Set Sail is a channel with a little bit of everything, but I'll let Jonathan, the creator of this channel, explain it to you. Hey guys, it's Jonathan here from Set Sail, and today I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to explain what Set Sail actually is and how you guys can be a part of it. We believe that art is one of the most powerful languages and most effective ways of communicating something in today's world. And we can see a renaissance happening in the church right now of artists and creators realizing the potential that they have to proclaim the message of Jesus through the things that they create, whether that's music, design, film, photography, any kind of creative expression. We live in such a connected world right now that art can have a profound impact on a global scale and culture is shaped by its creators. And that's why at Set Sail we're passionate about exploring that space where faith meets art. And we believe that together with other creators, we can see a new missions movement proclaiming the message of Jesus through the things that we create. And at Set Sail, we spend a lot of time doing exactly that, whether it's writing songs as rivers and robots, traveling on tours and missions trips around the world to share the gospel, making videos, designing artwork, we want to create beautiful things that point people to Jesus. But one of our main aims with Set Sail is to equip, encourage, and inspire other artists and creators. Yes, we can do our own projects, but if this is really going to be a global movement, we need to take the time to invest in each other. Some of the ways we do that include our YouTube channel, where we share our journey as we go, and also give some practical tips of the things that we're learning along the way. We also love to give a platform to artists through our website, our Instagram account, our playlists, and locally at our monthly worship nights called Gather where we bring in different artists each month and share their songs with people right in the heart of Manchester. And we're seeing people become Christians and getting connected to churches through these events, which is amazing. Another thing we're starting to do is to run workshops in some of the cities that we go to on tour so that we can gather the creators together and help encourage them and invest in those guys so that they can continue to have long-term impact in their cities. Set Sail will inspire you to create something with their behind the scenes videos and vlogs. Jonathan is maybe too talented? <laughs> oh, is, that, is there such a thing? A bit, a bit. <laughs> but really is inspiring. Yeah. Definitely check it out. Alrighty, are we ready for number one? Drum roll. Yay! Okay, do you want to do the honors? You should do the honors. <gasps> Thank you. Alrighty, countdown number one is Elevation Youth! Elevation Youth! Youth, youth, youth. That's if there was an echo. Elevation Youth is a channel full of all sorts of wonderful things. 
We told them they were number one at the top of our list and they sent The Loop Show a special message about why they do what they do. Check out their message and the sneak peek of their channel. Here's what I'm thinking. The Loop Show is like, I mean, this is an honor. Hey, my name's Tim. This is Jay Dog. We're Jay. Now, the whole reason we created the YouTube channel was really to get across the message, we believe in the youth. Now, we've seen generation after generation feel like they can't supersede their potential because of the past generation not believing in them. Mm, so we lying. said, no more. Benito. We believe in the youth. You may have heard that phrase, but that is what we are all about. And so we combined YouTube and culture with the church. You, you get, get a connection like never you before. Get <laughs> because here's Christo. the deal. Jesus created all of it. So we're doing the best we can. That's a wrap. That's all we need right there, dog. That's all we need. That's all you need. That's gonna break it free. Do we have my line? <laughs> <laughs>